thinking about hanging himself. He's not going to tell you, hey boss, I'm thinking about hanging myself, but, or harming himself or doing something. By him stopping to talk to him, you, you, it's, it's immeasurable what he might have just done for somebody. Yeah, that's probably 18 inches thick. This is a cell in D block. This is an original cell, and this is exactly how it would have been when, uh, of course, without the electric lights, when uh, Mark Twain was visited. What we do know as far as Twain's relationship with the prison is that he would try out his lecture material with the prisoners as an audience. Most likely would have been in the summertime. Mark Twain's wife, Livy Langdon, was from Elmira, so he spent his summers up at Quarry Farm. Three hots and a cop. <laughs> Three hots and a cot. Three hots that's and a cot. Same, that's an old saying. It is an old saying, yeah. and it goes back a long time. That's what they get. Three hots and a cot. Three hots and a what? Cot. C-O-T. Like a, like a bed. Are you not old enough to remember what a cot is? <laughs> this is a Twain quote. The Elmira Reformatory contains 850 convicts who are there for all manners of crimes. People go there and lecture, read, or make speeches, and come away surprised and delighted. They can't understand it. They have astonished themselves by the excellence of their own performance. They can't remember to have ever done so well before. Afterwards, they always say that for a splendid audience, give them a house full of convicts. It's the best audience in the world. They, are, they puzzle and puzzle over it, and are not able to get away from the apparently established fact that an audience of convicts is the most intelligent and appreciative in the world, which is all a mistake. The whole secret lies in the absence of ladies.